Example 16. Find the lateral surface area and the volume of the solid. Lateral surface area means don't include the top and bottom. So the formula for the rectangular solids lateral surface area is 2 times width times height plus 2 times length times height. So here we have a height of 11, a width of 8, and a length of 9. And technically, it doesn't matter if you mix up the width and the length. You can call the length 8 and the width 9. It's going to come out the same. So 2 times 8 times 11 plus 2 times 9 times 11. So 2 times 8 times 11 is 176. 2 times 9 times 11 is 198. So the lateral surface area, when you add those two together, is 374. Because we're area, we're in square feet. Now, the volume of a rectangular solid is length times width times height. And you don't need the dots. You can just write LWH, but it means to multiply. 9 times 8 times 11. Now, you will need something in between either parentheses or the dots. And you could even use the times, the x for times in this situation, but never in an equation. So 9 times 8 times 11 is 792. So 792 cubic feet. And I mean, don't use an x for times inside of an, uh, when you're solving an equation that has x because it's going to be confusing. So if you've got 2x plus 7, you don't want to write 2 times x plus 7, right? Because that can be confusing. But in something like this, you can use anything as long as you indicate you're multiplying. Number 17, find the lateral surface area and the volume of the solid. So again, our lateral surface area of a rectangular solid is 2 times width times height plus 2 times length times height. And our volume is length times width times height. And this time, all the measurements are the same. So 2 times 7 times 7 plus 2 times 7 times 7 is going to be 98 plus 98, which is 196 millimeters squared, or square millimeters. When you do area, always squared. Length times width times height is going to be 7 times 7 times 7, which is 7 cubed. And 7 cubed is 343 cubic millimeter, millimeters because the volume is measured in cubes. Example 18. Find the lateral surface area and the volume. So for a cylinder, just the lateral surface area is 2 pi r h. So it's 2. Now notice they did give us the radius because they gave us half. 45.7. And then our height, even though it's lying on its side, our height is 88.6. Now they want us to round it. So I'm going to use 3.1415. Probably more accurate, of course more accurate if you use the pi key. 45.7 and 88.6. So 2 times 3.1415 times 45.7 times 88.6 is 25.43. And it says the nearest, and it means whole, so 44. Because it comes out 2543.9. No, let me fix that. I left off a decimal. It's actually 
25439.99266. So we're going to round up 25440 square centimeters for our lateral surface area. So we don't include the ends on that. The volume is pi r square height 3.14015 times 45.7 squared, times 88.6, 3.1415 times 45.7 squared, times 88.6, gives us a big number, 581303.8, so 581,000, 304 cubic centimeters to fill up the shape. Example number 19, find the lateral surface area and the volume of the cylinder. So our lateral surface area is 2 pi r h, not including the top and bottom. So 2 pi r is 4. And H is 13. So I'm going to put in the 3.1415 for my pi. And so that's going to give me 2 times 3.1415 times 4 times 13 is 326.716. So 326. 0.716 to the nearest whole square inch is going to be 327 square inches. Now the volume is going to be pi r square height. So use the pi key or 3.1415 4 squared times 13. 3.1415 times 4 squared times 13 is 653.432, so it's about 653 cubic inches. And the last one, number 20. Find the lateral area of the cylinder. So remember, the lateral surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h, Notice they gave us the diameter is 10, so we have to use radius is 5. So 2 pi 5 times 14 is 2 times 3.1415 times 5 times 14, 2 times 3.1415 times 5 times 14, is 439.81 or 440 square meters squared because we're doing area is always measured in squares.